Hi guys, it's Adam and welcome to a car boot sale haul. So, I am actually re-recording a stream that I did uh, a few minutes ago. The reason I'm re-recording this in video form is because the stream was very, very poor. Uh, for some reason it was lagging, it was jumping. So what I thought I would do, for those who didn't catch the stream, I will just re-record the video because then it's going to be a bit better quality and you won't have to suffer through all the lags and stuff. Anyway, with that being said, I'm going to get on, I'm going to try and get through this quite quickly. I had a really good day at the car boot. I spent £44.50 and I stand to make well over £400. That is excluding my postage charges as well. So that's just basically on the base uh, sale price of the item. So even with postage on top, maybe £500, maybe £600. So I'm really, really happy. Now, of course, that is just turnover. You have to take that figure with a pinch of salt. Uh, you know, there's a lot of fees to come off that. You've got the um, fact that maybe some of the items don't sell in the end. You've got the fact that you've got maybe have to reduce prices. So, you know, just take that figure with a pinch of salt, but still some good profit to be had. So without further ado, I shall just get on and pick my first item. So, number one is this... Um, basically boxed it's really really nice quality actually this one um charles and owen uh, riders hat now i picked this up for two pound fifty uh, quite happy with that now i've not done research this is pretty, pretty much the only item i've not done research on everything else i know exact prices for but i've had riders helmets in the past unboxed you're looking maybe 15 quid maybe a little bit more um, but yeah, box like this, I don't know, I might be able to get 20 for this, maybe even a little bit more. It is quite a nice one, this one actually. Um, got a nice lining inside of it, it's, you know, it's been well looked after. So quite happy with that, as I say, it's Charles and Owen one there. So yeah, that's that one. Pretty happy with that, you know, nice, good profit in that one. So quite happy. Uh, next, I got a couple of, and I believe these are elite wrestling figures. They've got the uh, various points of articulation here. And, um, yeah, quite cool those are. I paid a quid each. Didn't bother to get any of the standard ones that they had, because at a quid each, the standard ones aren't really worth it. Well, in my opinion, they're not worth it. Um, generally, a lot of elite figures start at about a tenner. Some of the, there are the odd ones that are below a tenner, but a lot of these elite ones are generally a tenner and up. Um, so I don't know about these ones exactly, but minimum they're going to be a tenner. I don't know who these are, so I'm going to have to do a bit more research. But, you know, if anyone does know who they are, you can feel free to drop a comment down below. There's that guy there, try and get him in the light. And then there's uh, that guy there. So, you know, if you do know who they are, just feel free to drop a comment down below because it helps me out massively. And it means that I don't have to go through all the sold listings trying to figure out which one's which. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. These elite ones, they have like an ab crunch there. So that's how you know they're elite. And they've got more points of articulation, like your, your wrists and stuff. Although I think a few of the standard ones have the uh, articulated wrists. And they're just generally more flexible. I think the heels flex or something on these ones as well. Anyway, there's a lot of points of articulation. Um, so yeah, th those, th those are those. Pretty cool. Quite happy with that. Um, next, I got hot wires for two pound fifty. Not checked if it was complete, uh, you know, when I was there. So obviously, there's uh, the chance that this might not be as much as you know I would be saying it is. Um, for example, this has gone for anywhere between about fifteen pound and thirty pound. But it really depends on if it's complete. If it's not complete, I might even be looking at less than that. But you know, I'm prepared to take a little bit of a punt on that one at two fifty because I can't go far along at that. So yeah, quite happy with that one, but I'd say I have to check if it's complete and that'll help determine a price more. Um, next was, you know what, I'll do some I'll do some sealed media next. So we'll do this sealed media. So I got three of these Xbox 360, brand new and sealed. Um, basically triple packs, I think these are called. Well, it says it on there when you triple pack. Um, Trials HD, Limbo, and Splosion Man. Uh, brand new and sealed, as I said. Paid a quid each, which I was really happy with, and this was quite late on. Uh, well, I say it was like late on, it was about nine o'clock. Um, but yeah, paid, paid a quid each, three of them. Uh, they've gone on bids on eBay for ten quid a pop, so hopefully I should get thirty quid out of them. Uh, pretty much no trouble. 
and I might put them on auction, I might do it by it now, I'm not sure. If I do it by it now, I might actually be able to get a bit more from them, so it might be better than me doing them by it now. Uh, brand new and sealed Wiggles DVD. Some of these are worth looking out for. This on Amazon has a pretty decent wank. Not like a really, really, really mega fast wank, but it's decent. And uh, it goes for about 20 quid, £19.83 or something it was. That was a quid, I don't know whether I said. Very, very happy with that. Uh, and then this was a fail. Paid a quid for it, it's actually brand new and sealed, it's lips, but it's the Spanish import version. Now, it might not be so much of a fail, because I might be, you know, people might be able to play these on a UK machine, so if they are, then I might still be able to get some money back from it, but if they can't, then it's basically an outright fail. May as well just go back on the car boot or something, I don't know, or just charity or whatever. Um, but yeah, so that might be a bit of a fail, I paid a quid for that, so with a fiver there, in terms of, you know, value. Um, next was the complete, now I didn't pay the prices you see on these, I did a little bundle deal for 12 quid, she wouldn't go any lower than that because she was actually selling them on behalf of someone else, so we would have came in at 14 quid for the lot, um, I wanted them for a tenner but she said the, the, the most I could go down is to 12 quid from 14.50, so I, start, I was fairly happy with that. Uh, so 350 but I actually paid about 3 quid for this, brand new and sealed, the complete series of V, um, I actually watched the new version of this, is it? no this is the old version, I watched the new series of this in like 2009, 2010, something like, something like that, maybe a bit, bit later, maybe 2012 or something, um, but the new series was really good so I, I need to actually go back and watch the original because that's probably going to be better, um, so yeah anyway, 20 quid on Amazon, brand new and sealed, happy with that for you know about 3 quid, so pretty cool. Uh, Wonder Woman, now this goes quite for quite a lot on Amazon, I'm a little bit suspicious, the rank is like 58,000 so it's a little bit higher than I like to send in at um, in terms of the rank, um, again stick it up at 350, I paid about 3 quid you know in the bundle, um, so yeah I'm a little bit suspicious, it's the complete se second season, it is the actual region 2 one, not the region 1 one, I t checked that on while I was scanning it in, um, but yeah, FBA, there's no FBA offers, merchants are coming in at 37 quid, so I'm going to try for, you know, 40 to 50, but I don't know on that, it might be one of, it's just one of them a little bit unsure, because a lot of these DVDs, if you have, uh, you know, this is the complete second season, a lot of these DVDs on Amazon, and I mentioned this in the live stream before, um, if you have like, you might have the complete box set available on Amazon, series 1 to 5, for 20 quid, but then you might um, have one single series listed on Amazon for 40 quid and it's like a higher rank, but but not really, really, really high, but it's a higher rank and then you end up sending it in, but actually it's not really going to sell that well because you can get the full five series for a lot less. So you've got to be careful with selling these single singular series on Amazon. So I am a bit like that on that one, but anyway, maybe 40 quid, but I don't, I'm not 100%. Um, Diamond Geezer, David Jason, about 250 I paid on that if you take the 50p off. Um, yeah, I didn't know he'd done this one, this is pretty cool actually, Diamond Geezer the series, I don't know what it is. Oh, uh, his time, this time he's not wheeling and dealing, this time he's stealing, oh, some, some sort of, yeah, Diamond Geezer, anyway, it makes sense. Uh, so some sort of theft show or something, or crime show or whatever it is. Um, but yeah, pretty cool. This again, Merchant Fulfilled are coming in at like 37 quid. So if I'm right, you know, it should be about 40 to 50 pound on FBA that. Um, but again, it's got a little bit of a touch higher rank than, than I'd like to send in at. So might be a longer tail item that one. But at least this is the actual complete series or the series of it and not just one singular, uh, you know, series. Um, next one, again, take about 50p off. So about £4.50 I paid for this. This is only about 20 quid, so it's not the best margin on this one, but it's okay, and I feel pretty confident that this one will actually sell, because it's uh, one of these 007 Ultimate Collections, and these usually do okay. It's a Pierce Brosnan collection, so yeah, pretty cool. I will have to be careful actually taking these, yeah, I'm going to have to be careful taking these stickers off, because they're those horrible stickers actually, that when you peel it off, like half of it comes off, if you know what I mean. So I'm going to have to be careful taking them stickers off, which is going to be a bit annoying, but hopefully I'll get them off okay. And then another couple of bits of sealed media, uh, both a quid each. That one goes for 16 quid. Half decent wank on that one as well, actually. 
and this one goes for 18 quid and yeah as i say a quid each so you know quite happy on that what lot nice little stack of media there i needed some items for fba i've been telling you that you know i'm struggling with my amazon fba uh, to, to actually find sealed items but now the car boots are coming in i'm starting to find a few more of them more regularly and a lot of the dealers um the regular deals i see don't generally do dvds and stuff so it's quite cool because um, it's kind of a little niche that I that I just go down, you know, and I'm quite happy to you know pick them up and make some money on them. And as I say, there's not as much competition. Um, right, so that's that. Um, oh, nice item down here. I'll show you this one. Sean the Sheep um, Footstool. I think I saw this on Celtic Traders. Um, I don't know whether I did or not. I, ju I just think I did. Um, and I believe they got like 30 quid or 50 quid if I did see it on their channel, you know. Um, and yeah, these do go for good money. It's like 30, 40, 50 quid plus post. So really, really happy on that. She wanted a quid. That was it. One pound. She said, if you'd like it, uh, you can have it for a pound. So I thought, yeah, well, I can't say no at a pound, can I? So yeah, really, really cool. It's quite heavy, actually. Um, but it's a nice little footstool, this. Um, it's one of those items that I kind of have a little tiny um, thing in my mind telling me, oh, you know, that would be quite cool to keep. Um, there's not many items that I think that on. You know, a lot of items I don't have any attachment to, I'll just buy and sell them. But certainly this item is pretty cool, I quite like that. Obviously I watched Sean the Sheep when I was younger, so, you know, it's kind of has a little bit of uh, nostalgia, I suppose, as well. Um, but yes, that was that one. Probably the best buy of the day that, you know, in terms of value and in terms of, you know, how little I paid for it. You know, if I can get 50 quid for it, one pound into 50 quid, that's an insane margin. So, yeah, pretty happy with that. Um, one of the fails of the day, if I can even get it. Um, so, this is one of the fails of the day. Binoculars. Uh, these are like, pan, not Panzer, because I think that's a good make of something else. Um... But I, I don't know what it is. Prinzulux, Prinzulux or something. I don't even know how you pronounce it. Probably only going to get about a fiver plus postage if I'm really realistic. I uh, might be able to push a tenner. Uh, paid a quid for them though, so it's not that bad. Uh, and if that's my worst fail of the day, I've not gone that far along, have I? So, yeah, um, probably end up listing them anyway just for a fiver and just get them gone. Because there's no point just throwing them away. I mean, I mean, I could put them in a car boot pile to to car boot again but yeah you know i may as well just randomly list them anyway um so that's those uh what else did i get oh i got this i got this tractor um again this this caught my eye because it's nylint nylint n y l i n t never heard of that brand before it's die cast and it's well it's metal and it's plastic um and it's a little tractor obviously a green tractor with its little cart there um I have only seen these go internationally, and have gone for good money. Not not like this exact one, but that nylon brand stuff, or whatever it's called. But they've gone for decent money. Don't know what I'm going to list this at. I'm not sure, but I paid 150. If I can get a 10 or plus postage out of it, I'm more than happy. If I can get 15, 20, or even more, uh, then you know I'm really happy. So still, I was quite happy with you know one pound fifty on that item. I you know more than happy to pay that really just to take a punt on it and see whether it's good or not uh, another kind of one that i'm like that on i thought this was 20p it was in a box or a, well not a box a bag with other toys and she said oh they're all 20p and i pulled this builder bear out it's a genuine builder bear i don't know if you can see that very well but it oh you're gonna have to see it the other way around genuine builder bear anyway there um and i pulled this out and i said how you know so is this 20p as well and she said oh oh is that a genuine is that a, you know a builder bear and um she i said yeah yeah it's a builder bear and uh, she said oh well i'm gonna have to charge you a pound for that one and i could have said 50p to be honest but i didn't i ended up just paying the pound so um yeah it's might be a little bit of a fail that one seems to go, i think i've seen one go for about eight quid plus postage on ebay so it's not a real, really bad fail, but it's just a little bit less than I would have wanted. Uh, you know, if I got that to 20p, it's a different story, you know, but a quid is a little bit more than I wanted to pay. But anyway, I'm just, I'm nitpicking really. I mean, I'm still going to make profit on it. I mean, it's hardly a terrible fail, is it? Um, right, so next I got a load of bottles. I got six for three pounds, so 50p each. And then I got one for one pound off a different lady. So this is... Um, an all sops um, limited 
uh, nice large green bottle, vintage bottle. It's got the original cap, which is, it, it, it's nice to find them with the original cap. You don't always find them with the original cap, to be honest. And it adds a bit of value to the collectors. Um, probably going to be looking about 15 quid plus postage. The reason I say that is because it has got its original cap. It is a slightly larger bottle, um, and it's just quite a nice one, to be honest. So I'm thinking start at 15 plus post and then work my way down a little bit from from there. But yeah, quite a nice little item, that one. Uh, 50p, I was more than happy to pay. These are going to be slow sellers, the bottles, but to be honest, it's still... You know, I'm, I'm more than happy just to throw them, you know, in my little container where I store my bottles and just leave them, you know, to sit for however long it takes for them to sell. Um, so, yeah, and I'm just going to blast through these really quickly. You've seen all these bottles before. They're just vintage uh, embossed bottles, uh, mainly, you know, brewery bottles. So uh, there's this one here, which is pretty cool, which is a uh, coffee one. Don't know whether you're going to see that very well, but something like um, S Camp Coffee or something. Um that one's probably going to be about a tenner plus post. Most of these will be around that tenner. Um, maybe a couple of them might be a little bit less, but most of them will just be like a tenner. Um, so yeah, there's that one. That one's not very exciting. That's probably probably the worst one out of all of them, to be honest. Um, we've got this one, which is pretty cool. This is a chemist bottle. Um, pharma pharmacist, even. Um, well, I think they're pretty much the same thing. Um, yeah, so that's pretty cool, that one there. Don't know what I'm going to get for that. Maybe just bread and butter, kind of 10 quid, something like that again. Can't see it being much more. And then we've got another one here, which is a bit more of a, a, a well-embossed one. That's quite nice, actually. I'm going the wrong way there. Quite nicely embossed, that one. Um, and then, again, another chemist one. Jay Carter, Chemist, Chester. These are all kind of local interest ones. Obviously, you would imagine that because... Um, you know, I'm in that area, I'm in region of Chester, Manchester, Liverpool, that sort of area, so you're going to find more local interest ones like that. So yeah, pretty cool on them. And then finally, I got a big haul of Nerf guns for uh, 10 quid, so you will have seen on my thumbnail actually the Nerf guns. So uh, yeah, I'll show you the Nerf guns now. Um, I was really, really happy with getting all these for 10 quid. Uh, some good value here, so yeah, quite happy. Uh, this one is... Uh, the uh, Doomlands Va Vagabond, Vagabond, Vagabond or something. No, Vagabond, 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 I think. Anyway, with a few bullets, it goes for between tw 12 and 15 quid plus post. So I was quite happy with that one. Uh, and that'll be give or take my money back. Uh, that, you know, I'd say give or take. Um, we've got this Star Wars one that has a little uh, blasting sound. Um, so yeah, pretty cool. It lights up as well there. Um, I can't really find these on completed and sold in used condition. Um, so I'm not sure on that one. Um, I might be looking only about 10 or plus postage or something. Might even be a bundle job, to be honest, that one, but I'm not sure. Um, next, we have, again, this was all for a tenner, all the Nerf stuff. Uh, a Recon CS6, or Recon CS-6. Um, now, this is good, because... This has got all the attachments you want on it. You know, it's got the sight, it's got the stock, it's got the barrel. Uh, pretty cool. Probably only about like 15 to 20 plus post though. Uh, it doesn't seem to be going for that much. I've seen one go for £15 plus postage, but that was without the sight. So I think maybe I could push 20 quid with the sight. So yeah. Anyway, still quite happy with that. Um, I got some bullets. I would have liked to get a few more bullets, but it just didn't have any. Uh, there's probably about 10 to 15 in there there's a couple of the star wars ones in there which are the white ones um but yeah i would like to get a few more bullets every time i pick up nerf i don't seem to get many bullets with them it's so annoying but anyway um next i got this hail no havoc fire even now um in complete condition with like the tripod stand or whatever it is the uh you know the ring of bullets or whatever what 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 do we call them what do we call them the the like the big strings of bullets or whatever. I'm not sure what we call them, but um, anyway, the big string of bullets and it, you know everything's all sorted on it. You you might even be able to get fifty quid for this, but as it stands, just this kind of base unit that I've got, I've not got anything else for it. Probably only looking twenty twenty five something like that. But still, you know, it's still good. You know, it's all profit on top really after selling the other stuff as well. So yeah, quite happy with that. Um, and then I got. Just another couple of little ones here in the bundle. Uh, one, this one is the Strife, which is uh, 
electronic as you can hear there and then this one's just a disruptor probably bundle these two for maybe 12 quid plus post maybe 15 something like that i didn't check on these two but it's not i'm not going to be far wrong on that so yeah that's those two so that is everything so that is everything guys if you enjoyed the video please do give it a like down below put any comments questions or queries down below on any of the items you've seen here today um i think that's it i just yeah that is everything i just wanted to double check um and yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. Uh, don't forget as well, if you'd like to support the channel, you can do that with using your Amazon affiliate lo links down below. And I will leave it there, guys. I will be back with you very soon, um, maybe for another car boot haul, because it's bank holiday weekend, so I'm going to another car boot tomorrow. Um, or if not that, there'll be some sort of a video on the channel coming very, very soon. I will see you in the next one, guys. See you very soon.